Pokemon fans, today I am here at this Kohl's location and we are going to try to figure out does Kohl's sell Pokemon cards? I know, it's a burning question you all have. I'm sure everybody really wants to know. What is up, my Breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. That's right, today we are here at this Kohl's. It's a really random location to find Pokemon cards. But sometimes, those really random locations are the ones you need to be checking. Marie is inside the car. Marie. Yes. What's your guess? Does Kohl's sell Pokemon cards? No. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I've seen Pokemon cards at Kohl's before. Marie says no, I say yes. Let's head inside to Kohl's. Let's find out. Oh, it's so cold. Another really random fact about Kohl's is that they actually accept Amazon return packages. So while we're here, we're doing that as well. See, right there, returns. Also, when you return something from Amazon, you get this coupon right here. So maybe we can use that towards some Pokemon cards. All right, where are they? Where are they? Oh, I do see a Snorlax. There's a Pokemon sign right there. And there we go. A Vivid Voltage booster pack. Looks like it's $5.99. However, they only have one. Let's look around and see if there's any more just kind of randomly sitting here. Nope, nope, and nope. What about under here? Anything? No, no. I'm not gonna lie though, I really like this Snorlax. What? And it makes sounds. Make sure there's none anywhere else. Back here in the board games, nope. Okay, we're gonna see if this 15% off coupon works for a Pokemon booster pack. Okay, so some really exciting news. We got the pack of Pokemon cards and the coupon didn't work. But hey, we found a pack of Pokemon cards. Now it is time to head to another Kohl's location and see if we can find some more Pokemon cards. All right, here we are at a second Kohl's. Boom, there it is. I feel like I'm always trying to run and catch up to you. <laughs> It's cold, I wanna get inside. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where's the Pokemon cards? Okay, there's the sign. Anything, anything, anything. Unfortunately, I don't see any Pokemon cards. I bet that's where they were. Let's look underneath the shelf and nothing down there. Oh, but wait, there's a Snorlax. Okay, maybe we're onto something here. Nope. All right, it looks like they don't have any at this location. What in the world is that? Honestly, that's what I look like when I wake up in the morning. Breaking family, we are back here inside of the studio from our shopping trip and let me try to lift all the cards that we got up onto the table. Uh, whew. Don't worry, we're gonna open up more than just this. Now the question we wanted to answer in today's Pokemon video, does Kohl's sell Pokemon cards? And the answer is, I think you all know what I'm gonna do. Ahem. <clears throat> Yes, Cole sells Pokemon cards. Now, unfortunately, we only found one pack of Pokemon cards at a Cole store, but honestly, with how hard it is to find Pokemon cards, I consider that a win. Now, also on the way home, I ended up stopping at Dollar General, one of my favorite stores, and I found some Pokemon cards there as well with dollar booster packs inside of them. So we're gonna open these up today as well. And then I also figured, why not? Let's go ahead and open up some Champions Path. So Breaking Family, do me a favor, demolish that like button right now and in the comment section down below, let me know which one of these four products you think is gonna have the best pulls. And honestly, I'm gonna go with this Dragonite 10 right here. So let's find out. All right, Breaking Family, let's go ahead and get started with the Dollar General 10s for today's Pokemon opening. I'm gonna start off with Salamence, do the Dragonite next, and then we have uh, some other cards over there that we will open up as well. But let's go ahead and get started. You know how much I love going to the dollar store to look for Pokemon cards, even though that wasn't the point of today's video. It was all about Kohl's, the store. I had to stop, I had to stop. Can you blame me? There's the code card right there that will unlock that Salamence for the Pokemon TCGO. And then you're gonna get 10 booster packs inside these retail for, well, this 10 goes for $10, a $10, 10, whoo. And, oh wow, I think they updated these a little bit because there used to be either breakthrough or break point in them. And wow, okay, these are definitely updated. So no complaints at all from me on that. So these are $1 packs inside of these. Now you might see Salamence and Dragonite tins at some place like Hobby Lobby or CVS. Those are just a little bit different. They're gonna have normal booster packs inside of them and not the dollar booster packs. And honestly, I think I prefer the dollar store ones a little bit more. I think I just spit everywhere because I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't care, I'm leaving it in the video. I'm only human. All right, Alolan Vulpix, Zatu, and Houndour. Now, if you've never opened up a dollar store booster pack before, they are only $1 unless you're buying them in a tin like we did today. Uh, you're guaranteed at least three cards. However, you're not guaranteed a rare reverse holo. You do not get a Pokemon uh, TCGO code 
However, you could legit end up pulling the most rare, the most valuable Pokemon card from the set. So there is that possibility there that you could end up pulling uh, the, the most wanted card of yours for your collection for only $1. There we go, there's Tangula. I love that artwork in the background. So as you've seen, we've opened up three booster packs so far. No rare, no reverse holo, but let's go into Cosmic Eclipse next. A beautiful, beautiful set. A lot of amazing cards inside of this one. A very big set. If you're looking for a Pokemon set that has a lot of cards in it, uh, Cosmic Eclipse is the route you want to go because there is a lot of cards inside of that set. One of the biggest Pokemon sets in TCG history. Lapras with a nice rainbow in the background. Going into a Cubone. All right. Kanto vibes in that one. We got Unified Minds up next. As you see, our luck right now, not the best. However... If you watched uh, last Thursday's video, we went to Family Dollar and then had insane luck uh, pulling a bunch of $1 Ultra Rares. Scraggy, Pokemaniac, there we go. Slowpoke inside of the best tag team in the entire world, at least in my opinion. Psyduck is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And then um, Slowpoke is my second favorite Pokemon of all time. Let me go ahead and sleeve this up. All right, there we go, a $1 Ultra Rare, which by the way, um, um, right over here, boom, a PSA 10 of that exact same card of Slowpoke and Psyduck. I'm trying to get one, uh, one PSA 10 of every single Psyduck card ever made. So I know it's a big task, but it's a task I'm willing to try to complete. Uh, that is all the Psyduck cards I have over there. A Lowland Sandshrew and a Snow Run, all PSA 10s. All right, Evolutions, of course, a very sought-after set, and then Cosmic Eclipse. I'm going to assume that the Dragonite 10 has the exact same booster pack selection inside of it, which if it does, no complaints here at all. Electabuzz, Nidorino, and a Vulpix. No, not even a rare yet, except for the, the Ultra Rare. Very interesting. Usually we've pulled a Reverse Hollow by now. All right, going into... The next Evolutions, Magmar. Hey, there we go, Machamp Break from Evolutions. As you can tell, I am doing a little bit of a card trick because the middle card will contain a rare and ultra rare reverse holo if you do have one inside of your booster pack. All right, there we go, Machamp Break. And then let's go into Cosmic Eclipse as our last booster pack from the first Dollar General Pokemon card 10. And a reverse holo wheezing. Okay, so it looks like all the last packs had the amazing cards inside of it. Now, Dragonite 10 is my pick out of all the products that we're opening up in today's Pokemon card opening that's going to have the best pulls. All right, that Dragonite 10 causing me a little bit of a trouble. There we go. All right. There is the Dragonite card. Boom. There you go. There is the code card right there. I'll just put that over there. All right, we have, I think, all the same booster packs right there. You know, one thing pretty interesting to note, I don't think we pulled any energies in uh, in those last packs. No, we did not. We did not. So we didn't get to throw any energies at the uh, the energy cam right over there. So I haven't got to use it yet. Well, it's the energy and bird cam. All right, there we go. All the same booster packs. All right, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and start with Unified Minds. Let's see if we can throw something at the energy and bird camera Right over there. All right, here we go. Litwick. There we go. Energy. Right over there. Going into a reverse hollow. Okay, so starting off pretty good with the second 10. Got a reverse hollow. Ah. What is up with that pack right there? Okay, and you can see that's not a code card. That's just a little thing talking about Pokemon TV as well as the card game. We have a Marini. Cosmic Eclipse up next. I love dollar store packs. Anybody that's watched this channel for a long time, and I've been uploading videos since 2014, Pokemon videos since 2014, you all know how much I love the dollar store. Going into an Empoleon Reverse Hollow Rare. Don't mind if I do. Put it right down there in our stack. Okay. This tin is not turning out too bad. Of course, we do need, we do need at least an Ultra Rare to catch up with that last tin. All right, Vulpix, Brock's Grit, and a Beedrill, which is a rare. So we're definitely pulling a lot more rares, reverse hollows inside of this tin than the last tin. Evolution's up next. I think if there's a Charizard in here, that's an automatic win, right? 
we have ourselves a Machop de-evolution spray. Oh, there we go. Talk about Charizard. Full art Mega Charizard from a dollar store booster pack. A one dollar ultra rare Pokemon card. A full art Pokemon card at that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Charizard. I mean, do you see what just happened? Do you see what just happened? All right, there we go. Full art Mega Charizard, and it actually doesn't look too bad, honestly. Look at that. Not bad at all. Whoop! Right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon card section. I would say the Dragonite 10 uh, is definitely winning at this point. So, okay. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Breaking family. We are doing phenomenal with our pulls so far. Probo Pass, Reverse Hollow. We got Lost Thunder, Unified Minds, and a Cosmic Eclipse over there. And then we will go into Champion's Path next. And we will finish off with that one. That one Vivid Voltage booster pack that we found at Kohl's. Energy. Put that right over there. Stunfisk as our not rare inside of that one. Oh, I do see a bird. I do see a bird, breaking family. Here we go. What do birds gotta do? Birds gotta fly. Fly away, bird, fly away. Aria does, and a flying squirrel. All right, Unified Minds up next, of course. We do have Secret Rare, Mewtwo, and Mew inside of the set. Shroomish. Energy, put that right over there. And a Drifloon, another rainbow in the background. All happy, that is definitely some springtime vibes. I would love for it to be spring right now, except for it's winter. Ugh, and I really dislike winter. Okay, here we go. Last booster pack from our Dragonite 10, then we'll go to Champion's Path. We have a Pyroar, beautiful, beautiful. And we have a Swoobat, which is a rare. And I gotta say, I think the Dragonite 10 did way better way better than the Salamance 10. I mean, look at that. Mega Charizard. We got Machamp Break. We also got, uh, or did the Machamp Break come from the last one? It came from the last one, but look at all the, the reverse hollows and the rares that we got. So I definitely think the Dragonite 10 ended up winning. Let's go into some Champion's Path. Now I already had this in my possession. I didn't find it while we were out and about today. I just figured I would go ahead and throw it in here to spice up Today's Pokemon opening just a little bit more. We do have Dreadnaw right there. We have our pin as well. And then three Champions Path booster packs and the code card. If you do enjoy code cards, you can always come over here to this channel. I always give them away. I've never kept them. I always give them to you, the Breaking Family. At least I don't think I've ever kept a code card. I've, I feel like I've always given them away. So uh, hit that notification bell icon so you do not miss a single video. You can rush over here, grab yourself a code card. Just hang out, have a good time, be yourself. You're always welcome here. I always encourage you to be yourself. Don't try to be like anybody else. Energy, put that right over there. Victini, Team Yelgrunt, going into an Eldegoss V, another ultra rare. I do upload four to five times every single week right here on this channel. Just in case you are curious, maybe you're new here, which if you are, thank you so much for giving me a chance, giving this channel a chance, and uh, giving the entire Breaking Family watching right now a chance. So we just have a nice positive community here. We leave the negativity at the door. We just come here to relax, be ourselves, have a good time, enjoy some Pokemon. All right, we have energy right over there. Suspicious Food 10, which I've still yet to pull the secret rare version of that card. Machoke. Going into a Scrafty for the rare in that one. Code card once again. Hopefully if you claim one of those code cards, you end up pulling a shiny Charizard. I'm wishing the best for you. I'm wishing you the best on your next Pokemon pack opening just in general. Galarian Zigzagoon, Weedle, Perloin, Energy, right over there. Sharpedo, when Shark Week? I feel like that should be coming up soon. Uh, and Altaria for our rare. All right, there's the code card right there. Breaking family, it is time. It is time for the one booster pack that we ended up finding at Kohl's. And to be honest with you, I'm a little surprised we ended up finding any, but 
It looks like Coles does sell Pokemon cards. You can see the sticker right there on the very back. There's Coles. Uh, it did cost $5.99. Unfortunately, we were not able to use that coupon. Uh, I looked at it just a little bit closer once I got back to the car, and it did say it excludes toys, and this is considered part of the toys. So, all right, Vivid Voltage. There is the code card right there that will unlock that Grookey, which I do love the Grookey promo. Look at the score bunny and the Sobble in the background. There is a score bunny and a Sobble to match this right here. And of course, the Sobble is crying. Poor, poor Sobble. All right, here we go. Celebi. What do we have? What do we have in the Celebi booster pack? Come on. Come on, Celebi. Don't let us down. Here we go. Eevee. Shuppet. Chewtle. Ryolu. Energy. Put that right over there. We have a Matang, Mighty Anna. Hey, there we go. There is a Charizard right there. I didn't expect this to be a uh, a Charizard opening video, but apparently it is. Two Charizard pulls, Mega Charizard EX, and then Reverse Hollow Charizard from Vivid Voltage. There's the code card right there. All right, here we go. Breaking Family. Two Cannon, what? You ruined the party. Fly away, Two Cannon. Breaking Family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video. And I truly love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.